Good evening, 7.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, November 15th, 2022. I'm T-Speak at 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. We have a couple news stories that we need to go over before the opening starts here. I just want to talk about it. We'll read it after the intro. But Ripple urges UK to craft bespoke regulatory framework for crypto. In a newly published white paper, Ripple recommended that the UK pull odds and ends of various crypto regulations from around the world. So we'll have to read that in just a second. And then crypto exchange FTX owes over 1 million creditors. So there's 1 million people that are facing um, not being paid back by FTX. And then the third and final piece of news, BlockFi prepares for potential bankruptcy as crypto contagion spreads. So BlockFi or BlockFi would be the first major victim claimed by the FTX collapse. Pay attention to this and don't take it lightly. So welcome back, everybody. As you see, we have three major pieces of uh, information to go over right now. First, though, I would like to go over the charts real quick just so we can get on the same page. Right now, we have Bitcoin, or the total crypto market cap is just under $800 billion. It's been teetering around here all day. It's at $799.8 billion right now. It needs to get up just a little bit more, but it's holding the one-hour time frame. Everything seems to be... Possibly putting in these small, small possibilities of a reversal here. No, I don't want to say small, but they're holding the one and two hour time frames. There's a lot of volatility, so it's very hard to see exactly what's going to happen. Bitcoin as well, sitting here in the on the four hour time frame, but in the two hours, what I've been looking at, two hour it's holding the nineteen thousand seven fifty five, and this is the fourth two hour candle. Same thing. XRP just hasn't got down here yet. That's at around thirty seven. 51 so could xrp come back down to pull like the rest of the market it's possible it's possible absolutely and xrp right now is trading between two special ranges here with we broke out of the bear flag held it here and now this looks like a potential push up here to try to come up to the 427 level which would be where the bull flag is to either get a rejection or to pull back up in there but that's an awfully large w reversal that looks to be taking shape here so we obviously have to pay attention to that and with bitcoin we're being squeezed right now between the 20 day, which is right around 16,750, and the downtrending resistance line at 16,866. So it's about 160 point trading range. We break out of 16,866, we're looking pretty good. We break down below, we're looking, you know, a little slightly bearish if we were to break down past that level. Like I said, with the total crypto market cap, that's how it's looking. But I also want to look at, besides those two things, this key news right now Block Phi. Or block fee prepares for potential bankruptcy as crypto contagion spreads. So pay attention to this. Some breaking news here later on in the day. Um, so uh, block fee or block fi financially entangled with the new now block bankrupt FTX is planning to lay off workers and exploring a bankruptcy filing itself. People familiar say cryptocurrency lender BlockFi Inc. is preparing a potential bankruptcy filing after halting withdrawals of customer deposits and acknowledging it has significant exposure to bankrupt exchange FTX. People familiar with the matter said so. Withdrawals have been paused by BlockFi or BlockFi and they had major ties to FTX. So that is some breaking news. So pay attention to that developing story here as I'll keep you updated as the story becomes more available. Also remember 1 million or more users are going to be unable to get their money back, it looks like. And users of Binance are fearing the same thing will happen to Binance that happened to FTX and now what seems to be happening to BlockFi. And then Ripple, the last piece of news, and I'm going to release this because i got things to do. Ripple urges UK to craft bespoke regulatory framework for crypto. In a newly published white paper, Ripple recommended that the UK pull odds and ends of various crypto regulations from around the world. Ripple is hoping to make 
inroads with pol- politicians in the UK and its ongoing dispute with the SC in the United States. Ripple is the company behind the XRP Ledger, the distributed network powered by the XRP token. The firm had issued a new regulatory white paper ahead of expected revisions to the UK's financial markets and services bills, which is set to define the nation's crypto regulation framework. That bill was first introduced to British Parliament on July 20th, 2022, where it's then voted earlier in October to add additional elements governing crypto regulations. The core of Ripple's recommendation center around finalizing a clear regulatory framework that distinguishes between different types of crypto asset activity as led by the respective risk profiles, which Ripple argues can vary widely. The crypto firm argues that any upcoming legislation should delineate clearly between consumer-facing and solely business-supporting propositions. Crypto companies should also be treated differently according to the level of interconnection with the rest of the economy and hence the potential risk they pose more widely. According to the paper, the company's white paper also referred how each blockchain has a varying environmental impact that it based on the way it mines tokens and validates the transaction comparing tokens based on proof of stake and proof of work. So the POS and POW blockchains, Ripple's XRP token uses neither of the above methods, but rather a proof of consensus POC methodology where Network of unique nodes agree on which transactions can be processed in the network with a minimum consensus of 80% needed. Ripple has consistently argued that XP represents a more environmentally friendly option compared to Bitcoin's energy intensive POW consensus mechanism. Ripple's white paper also recommends that the UK copy other jurisdictions that have already established regulatory frameworks. Ripple feels will help them become attractive centers for their crypto asset industry, including Singapore, Dubai, and the EU. Using these different regimes as a guide, Ripple wrote that the UK should craft its own bespoke regulatory framework to empower its crypto asset industry, such as a framework will provide certain certainty and support to crypto businesses as they grow in parallel and building trust among the wider public. In addition, the white paper said there was an urgent need to improve education in the crypto asset space across all levels of society to writing the current political discussion of crypto in the UK as a punchline in political football. And then the Ripple and SEC. Ripple has been building its own regulatory issues over the better part of the last two years. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit in December 2020 against Ripple Labs co-founder Christian Larson and incumbent CEO Brad Carlinghouse, accusing it of selling unregistered securities. So that's what we're looking at today. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. Join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. Get the exclusive telegram. Get the exclusive emoji badges. And look in the video description below to join me over on BitGat. Copy trade me so you can be in these trades with me. Also join me on Maxi if it's not working in the U.S. and you don't want to use a VPN because new users do have to use a VPN, unfortunately, on BitGet. Not on Maxi. It's all VPN free, no KYC, and no spot fees. And then Uphold is where I keep my liquid cash for when I buy in for later. So that's just the way I do it. Hashtag the FUD stops here, period.